Hi, uh, do you want to see a video that I made? No, thank you so much. It's uh, just uh, four minutes. Uh, do you want to see a video that I made, maybe? Yeah. Still no? It's, uh, it's about refugees from uh, Eritrea, came to Israel, no? This weird guy with a funny accent who harasses people in the street okay. is me, Itam Rose. Creator of satirical political videos in which I get into character and deal with racism, militarism, and other pleasant issues. I've always believed that my videos could touch people, change their perspective, and maybe even make a change. Can you want to see maybe a video that I made? All I needed is an audience, a stage. And then came YouTube. This is what happens when you give everyone a voice. A chance to be heard, and a stage to be seen. That voice that thought it didn't matter, well, it can start a movie. Yuti promised to give everyone a voice. An amateur singer with no agent, an experimental body artist, an alternative pianist, and even an oppressed people craving for change. YouTube's promise has swept us off our feet. Hey you guys, it's Jules DIY, and today it is my first ever video. One hundred thousand views. My God, that's big. Yeah. Google announced that they were buying the YouTube website. The CEO of Google calls this the next step in the evolution of the internet. What is happening to my views? They get lower and lower and lower and lower. So what happened between us and YouTube? I just don't have enough fans. I need more. That YouTube has been deleting clips and channels of war crimes. Done. Fuck YouTube. I'm out. Quit my YouTube channel. Fuck you all. This is bullshit. Today, terror inside YouTube headquarters. What drove the YouTubers so far is to shoot YouTube employees and then kill himself. We have a report of subject with a gun. They heard seven to eight shots being fired. A long time before all this happened, I started my journey from a simple desire. Oh, it's a cockroach. I just wanted to go viral on YouTube. Ooh. Girl and horse. Great bond. What the fuck? So what the hell do millions see in this video of a woman petting a horse? What was I missing? Okay, my videos were shown in museums and in the news, but in YouTube, where I can really make a change, I'm a total failure. I have no impact. What do they know that I don't? So I pack my bags and go on a global journey to talk to viral video stars, find their secrets of viral success, and to become viral myself. T take. Took. Tur. Tur. The accent, mm -hmm. a very strong uh, Israeli accent. Mm -hmm. You think you can help me? Think. Yeah. Think. Thank you for meeting me. You're, I'm Mr. Rose. Mr. Rose. So it's Mr. Rose. 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 Ro Ro uh, 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 uh. Do you know how do you bark like a dog? Ruff. Ruff. This is an American dog. Right, an American dog. Try to imitate that. Ruff. Ruff. Now with my fluent English and my endless charisma, I'm going to break the internet. Yo, motherfuckers, I'm coming. Like me without views, it's like flower without rain. I will crumble. So if you broke the internet or made it on YouTube, please contact me, help me. Okay, only 227 views, but sometimes it's the quality. One of my viewers was a legendary YouTube star who invited me to learn his secrets.
Bill? Hey. Hi. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so this view is the view from the film? Yeah, from the Double Rainbow video. Okay, so, yeah. so I saw this view. But I shot it right here. What, here? Yeah, I start where it starts. Where the video starts, I'm standing right there. Yeah, well, I'm walking this way. The whole video is going the whole time. When I get to right here, there's no tree, and I see the whole thing. That's the video. Whoa, that's a full rainbow all the way. Double rainbow. Oh, my God. It's a double rainbow all the way. Whoa, that's so intense. Whoa! Oh, oh my God! Oh my God! Oh, oh my God! Whoa! Double rainbow all the way across the sky! Oh my God! What does this mean? I wasn't doing them because I was famous or anything. I was just doing them because uh, it's a safer place to put my 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 content. It's also a way for me to prove that the things that I say are true because it doesn't sound real. God touched me, he knocked me, when he touched me, he knocked me to the ground and, and then he started speaking to me and through me. It was like I saw the burning bush. Yeah. That was what the rainbow was. Maybe God is not uh, God, maybe God is Google or YouTube. No, that's a tool that God uses to touch people. YouTube, yeah. It's made me an icon and a meme and a living legend, and it just keeps going. Like I'm, like it's, I'm getting more famous. I want to bring out to the stage tonight the original, most famous discoverer of the double rainbow with his children, Yosemite Man. I want to be like you. Yeah. I want to go viral and to feel great about it. Well, the first thing is you have to not want it. <laughs> yeah, but I want so, it. And you so. can't help it. Then it will never happen to you. <laughs> OK, just I want you to look in my eyes. Yeah. Tell me if you see this uh, viral seed that is going to, to grow. You have to let go. You have to let go. You have to not want it. I am doing it for God to serve my fellow man. And when you do that, you become very powerful. You affect humanity's consciousness from now on. Whenever someone sees a rainbow, they're going to think of this, right? How, who does that? God. OK, listen. So the guy uploaded his video on January 2010. Yosemite, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. We're talking about Yosemite, right? Nothing happened. Jimmy Kimmel tweeted, my friend Todd has declared this funniest video in the world. He might very well be right. And actually, just after it became viral, it definitely couldn't happen without Jimmy Kimmel. Now, whether Jimmy Kimmel is God or not, I don't know. But, but Jimmy Kimmel is our gatekeeper. What, what is gatekeep gatekeepers? So gatekeepers would be an entity, an organization, a person that controls information. Who are the people that can start manipulating and influencing and controlling the information in order for it to go viral? Every network have different leaders, have different gatekeepers. It's making my uh, work uh, easier because uh, connecting God is not my uh, strong side. I think uh, it would be much more easier for you to find those Jimmy Kimmels and make it viral because of them. So virality isn't the voice of God or the voice of the people. It's managed and navigated by the gatekeepers. Those standing at the gates, signaling right or left to fame or into oblivion. Our uh, next house is director uh, Quentin Tarantino. Director of uh, Kill Bill, Paul Fiction, Django Unchained, and other movies. I'm looking for Ellen DeGeneres. 
You looking for a house? Yeah, I'm looking for a house. I uh, want to deliver a message. Yeah. yeah. Does she know you're coming? Yeah, yeah. Can I read you a, a letter and you, and you can tell me if it's good or bad? I'm, I want to be in Ellen DeGeneres' show. Uh -huh. So uh, I'm leaving okay. here a letter. Sure. Dear Ellen, my name is Ita Maroz and I'm a YouTuber from Israel. I've been creating satirical video for the past decade. I wanted to become a famous YouTuber, but I'm, but I'm a failure. Oh. Uh, this is true. Uh, but, uh, Please tweet my channel and I will be famous. For you, it's just a tweet. For me, it's a matter of life for this. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good letter? It's a nice letter. I think it's very sweet. It's to the heart. It's good. Put it under the gate. <laughs> I'll put it under the gate. I would pin the letter to the shirt and put that up. OK. some cat videos to prove that cats can teach us things, very, very important things. For instance... I watch meaningless cat videos on Ellen's show, and I get it. Even if she read my letter, my political videos had no chance. If I want to pass the gatekeepers, I need to adjust, to be less meaningful. So how can I try not to say anything? After 10 years of making political videos, how the hell will I create a video without meaning? So I go back to the video that drove me nuts, this time as a source of inspiration. Maybe I will just copy it? After all, you don't change a winning horse. Sago? Sago. My wife offers to be the girl and find me some animals. Now I just need a great bond. After spending a decade in making my political videos, a 22-second video bypasses everything I did easily. Is the secret of virality not to say anything? You cannot argue with facts. It turned out that the great bond between Anna and the goat moved hundreds of thousands in India, Pakistan, and Saudi Arabia. I'm not a racist. All clicks were born equal. I stare at the rising numbers. With a message or without, I need more. I need millions. It's time to take out the heavy guns. My biggest viral asset, Michael, my sweet son. After getting more than two million views, I continue with my motto. If you cannot understand them, copy them. I realized that people uploaded all the home videos to YouTube for everyone to see. Share the child's fall. <laughs> Share the touching lullaby, and even you can become a viral star. So I try with Michael all kinds of viral combinations. Michael disappoints me. Instead of spitting the lemon, he swallows it eagerly. <laughs> Michael looks bored from copying viral videos. Maybe he's more into politics, like me. I show him historical and political figures. There are faces that you reject with no explanation, and a face that you like immediately that just makes you happy when you see it. As 
as a father, it was hard to see that Michael is a self-hating Jew. But for the sake of the experiment, I follow his heart's desire. <laughs> I upload baby Hitler's video. It gets decent views and sparks a debate. But it still doesn't get me to the next level. So I visit one of the top viral kids to get some tips. How did it go? I didn't feel anything. Yeah. Kind of felt good, didn't it? Uh, is this real life? Yeah, this is real life. Okay, now... Okay, now I... I have two fingers. Stay in your seat. Uh, I, I feel funny. Why is this happening to me? It's okay, bud. It's just from the medicine. Okay? Is this going to be forever? No. <laughs> No, it won't be forever. This becomes one of the most legendary viral videos of all time. David after Dennis, do you know that video? You were gonna launch one of the most successful viral videos of all time. David, put that down. I feel funny. Why is this happening to me? I can't see anything. Stay in your seat. <laughs> Hi, how are you? I'm Itamar. Yeah, I'm David DeVore. Hi, nice to meet you. you. Come on yeah. in. It just was back in, this was 2008. We didn't have a YouTube channel or anything like that. The only reason he put the video on YouTube was so he could get the link to send it to the family. Okay. That was the only intention. And then Sunday we looked at it at and it time. was uh, 10,000 views and we were like, what's going on? And we never send it to anybody. We didn't send it to one person. And then Wednesday or Thursday, it was somewhere between three and four million views. But we were like worried, like we're like, what's, why did this happen? And you know, we even thought of taking it down. People told you about the video when you, you put oh, it. Oh boy, they wanted to call the police. They wanted to put me in jail and- You're serious? Oh, I'm very serious. You can understand why some people think that's exploiting the child, not good for him, can't you? It's been a very, it's been a very positive experience for our family. Uh, why has have... it been positive? What's positive about what? it? Tell me what the positive is. It's put them through private school and, and we're hoping that it'll pay for uh, some of David's or all of both boys' college. That's what we're hoping. We kind of, it's found money, like winning the, the lottery, so we can't complain too much. He doesn't need reminding, he's, um, he is who he is. He's pretty level-headed, he doesn't, you know. You, you feel it changed you? No, I still think I'm the same. But I mean, I've never really lived where I wasn't famous off a YouTube video. And uh, what do you want to do in your life, you have an idea? Psychology. Like, the chemical reactions in the brain, though, that's interesting to me. Like, when people go insane, like, what happens in their brain that makes them go insane and stuff? I believe that David's family would have removed the video if they didn't earn all that money from YouTube. YouTube updated the dream and offered everybody the chance not only to be famous, but also to get rich from their intimate family moments. So parents around the world that chased the dream started documenting their kids looking for those dramatic situations. When they're hurt... You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Look at I me! I see you. I saw when they cry... Ow! 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 No! 
when they are operated. Ouch! All to recreate David's success. And so, even an abdominal operation for a small child has become a play begging for her clicks. Kyle, you said you want me to put this on YouTube, right? Clicks that are worth a lot of money for YouTube. On Monday, Google announced that they were buying the YouTube website for $1.65 billion. Our next guest is a big reason why. <laughs> Here you want to be a uh, YouTube celebrity yeah. or star. So what is better to be? Personally, for me, it's better to be a star because you don't have to continue to put out that content. But YouTube, they don't want somebody like me anymore. They don't, no? they don't want a video, one video that gets 300 million hits. They want somebody that produces 300 videos that all get a million hits each. Because at the end of the day, YouTube is a business. And they make money by linking up advertisers with audiences. And so if you have a person that's 300 videos that has a million hits on each one, they have an audience of a million, around a million people. And they know how old those people are. They know how much money their audience makes. They know where they live. And they go to advertisers and say, oh, you're targeting 13 to 16-year-old girls who live in a family of four and their parents drive a this type of car. Okay, perfect. We have this person who makes videos, and that's exactly who watches their videos. They're driven by their advertising revenue. Please subscribe. YouTube changed virality to suit its business model. They promote and turn into stars those who produce a lot of content on a regular basis. Again, YouTube updated our dream. No more counting views. From now on, we count subscribers. I need subscribers. I really need them. If I don't get any subscribers, then why did I even do this for? Subscribe. I'm so no. The same change in the business model led to a rise of genres and channels and created a new class of YouTubers. A child who opens toys and becomes the youngest millionaire in the world. Got me! A transsexual who makes makeup tutorial and sells products. That was the full drugstore look. Or a Swedish guy who earns millions by playing computer games. <laughs> but the big change, focusing on channels and subscribers, also gave a boost to different and unique voices. As to a political what is blogger. Democratic socialism versus what is social democracy? A vegan Iranian with five YouTube channels. Why vegan? Share vegan. For yourself. Or a creator who does not answer to anyone, not even to the American army in which he served. Let me tell them what you did in the desert. Someone that millions like to hate, but nobody can ignore. Let's kill everyone inside and call ourselves patriots. In short, a role model for me. But if it was your family, I'm sure you wouldn't be so thrilled. It's so you were serving in the army and then you became a YouTuber. What is the story? Um, when I was in the Air Force, we had this, this meeting, this big hall, and they asked everybody why they joined the Air Force. They said college, and everybody raised their hand, almost everyone. You know, most everyone was there for themselves, and the whole patriotism thing was uh, nonsense. And uh, Americans that I'm serving with are pricks. So I didn't like that. It was draining and it was depressing. And um, I wanted to be part of the world that I admired. And so I wanted to get into the American YouTube community or just the YouTube community in general. That's when I started making videos. This was really exciting for me because I didn't really have an outlet for that kind of creativity. Not a lot of stuff happened until I was featured on the main page of YouTube one day. I'm a banana! You're a what? I'm a banana! What happened to your clothes? I'm a banana! I'm a banana! I'm a banana! I'm a banana! Look at me, man! Yeah, yeah. So Onision, who deals with political content and doesn't give a damn about anyone, 
hit YouTube's top page only with a song about a banana. And even Nassim, the radical vegan activist, realized that for YouTube to expose her to a new audience, she needs fake boobs. So if I want people to see my political videos, I also need to make thousands of videos and occasionally flicker with a viral song. So I make my way to meet two YouTubers that figured out the formula. Hey guys! Hey! Building a targeted community around their channel. If someone can make even a crow like me sing, it's them. For they are... The lesbian duo We are Bria and Chrissy We are the lesbian duo I always say that if you want to be a successful YouTuber and you really want to blow up, then you have to find something that hasn't been done or something that's been done and do it in a different way. Like for us, there were other LGBT content creators, there were other lesbians online making videos. There was no one that was doing it and singing. We're the singing lesbian duo of YouTube. Yeah, yeah and you, whatever it is, you have to find your niche. I think your talking shirt idea is really great. Really something. Hi. I'm a failure on YouTube. My name is Itamar Rose. Make the mouth a little better. And maybe you make it a little bit more positive. Yeah, Hi! It... No, not a higher pitch, just you being positive. My name is Itamar Rose. I'm a failure on YouTube, but I'm going to be the most famous YouTuber in the world. Bah! I think that's a really great that's a idea. Hit. That's a hit. Let's have your shirt sing a song. Yeah. Watch The Magician. Be a star. I think on the beat, you should go wild. Yeah. I want to be. That was good. The low's good. And I want to be a star. Um, you like that? Yeah. Want to be a star. Want to be a star. Want to be a star. Perfect. Great. I am a talking shirt. And I want to be a star. No one watches me get depressed. Because I'm the first success. Please watch me, like me, share me. And hug me. Subscribe me. So thanks to Bria and Chrissy, I've made my first step as a YouTuber. I found my uniqueness. <laughs> but this is only the first step. So they learned back in the 50s and 60s and 70s that celebrities sold products. And they're finding that YouTubers have huge influences over their audience. More than the regular celebrities. Definitely more than regular celebrities because they've, they've grown to trust them. They've grown to feel connected. You know, you meet George Clooney or another, a Brad Pitt, Angelina Jolie, these huge movie stars. We like them, we see them on screen, but we don't feel connected to them. But a YouTube person who you see the day-to-day -day life that they live, it feels almost like a friend. Our vlog channel is definitely our diehards. They want to see what we're doing every single day. They're tweeting us all hours of the day, commenting on every photo. They've been with us through ups and downs, and so these people, for, for them, we are like family almost. Good morning, so I just had to go get a filling. Uh -huh. I was leaving, and I stopped by this coffee shop to get some water. Share every detail in my life? Even I can. My life is no less boring than those of the most successful YouTubers. There's a washer and dryer right here inside this building. I can do it, at least. Once a day, I'm uh, brushing my tooth. When I was young, uh, my parents didn't insist that I will uh, brush my teeth. And then I have a lot, a lot of uh, holes. As you can see, I have here some blood. It's better not to learn from me how to do it, but I want you to know me better and to know that I have a lot of uh, problems with my teeth. And I'll see you in the vlog tomorrow, friends. How is it to be a YouTuber? How is it? to make it your life. The glamour side is that you get to be your own boss and have your own business or company and make your own decisions. But the other side is, being an entrepreneur, you can't ever stop working. Keep feeding the beast. Constant. So you must feed the beast? Yeah. Six videos a week. Six videos no, a week? No, you're not serious. No, yes. that's serious. serious. Like, if you now want to stop for, you're tired and you want to stop okay. for three months. What no. will be? Our career would disappear. It would disappear. You think it really disappear? I no, we know it would. I know it would. So who is this terrifying beast that Bria and Chrissy have to feed with six videos a week? What is an algorithm? An before? algorithm is essentially, we're just mean the piece of the code on YouTube that decides 
what video should be ranking where in the list for what. That's it. How much you need to do a week in order to uh, a minimum? A minimum of three videos is generally three videos is generally considered the minimum for the algorithm not to hate you. So now I understand why every YouTuber also makes vlogs. It's not for us, the audience, but mainly because that's what you can produce easily, daily, to satisfy the beast's appetite. So I decide to go 24/7 and shoot my whole life with the head cam. With the amount of videos I upload, I can call myself a proud YouTuber. But I still feel my subscribers count can do better. By the time I turned 22, I was an alcoholic. What do you mean it's over? All of my friends started losing their virginity in seventh grade. Here's how he started calling me Nikocado Avocado. It's not enough to share only the daily stuff. I need to let go of my protections. Show my subscribers who I really am. Yo, friends. Today, some serious stuff. It's very personal. I have serious problem with my wife. From the moment the baby was born, she don't give me any attention. I'm, I feel completely alone. I have no sex at all, even at once. Maybe you can give me some digital love instead. Something like one... thousand views it's like having sex with her do it for him he's so sensitive i'm not sure he can handle a divorce please share comment like keep the smile on geht's heute nach Berlin ins YouTube Space. I am right outside YouTube Space Tokyo. YouTube Space Dubai. Da! YouTube Space Mumbai! After reaching 207 subscribers by sharing my poor sex life, I feel ready. Professional YouTubers, those who create daily content and build a noticeable community, are invited to YouTube Space, which provides state-of-the-art equipment and fancy studios for YouTubers with more than 5,000 subscribers. Shit, I don't have 5,000 subscribers. I turn to Google, YouTube's father, to help me deceive his naughty son. I follow pages offering to sell likes, views, and followers, and finally reach the forum called Black Hats, a place where view dealers, click farm owners, and hackers manage the dark world behind virality. I find one of the top hackers. He lets me film only with his face covered. I guess you'll want some likes, some comments, some dislikes. You can fix all of it? Of course, without it, it won't be believable. What you have to do is just copy the URL of your movie, you paste it here, then you copy this list, you paste it down here, whoever is online will immediately watch the movie. I'm not sure because... Every YouTube clip that has many millions of views started that you way. You say even Justin Bieber is Everybody. buying views? Everybody. I remember when Gangnam Style got started, me and my colleagues were all very busy. Telling me... big news for me that like Gundam style is based on fake view. The first millions were fake for sure. YouTube sometimes identifies it and sometimes it does. Why they're not fighting till the end? YouTube itself is also being measured somehow. They don't want to fight the fake views because it will influence their number too much. Where will YouTube be without the fake views? $400 short, but with an army of 5,000 Russian subscribers, I'm inside the YouTube space. With my Hebrew political videos, having thousands of Russian fans, maybe the hacker had a point about the motivation of YouTube to fight the phenomenon. In one of the large studios in YouTube space, I found Karim Etawli, a huge star in the Arab world, who creates videos dealing with racism and the approach to Islam. Oh, Dinik! Hit her again, and I'll call the cops. This was my chance to see a large budget YouTube production. What does my mom say? Welcome to another edition of Fan Video Responses, and uh, we have a question today from Haytham. What? So All this equipment for just another vlog from the couch? What's up, Haytham? Morocco, and I want to know is how to be confident on myself. Okay, first off, I want to just say um, 
it's it's confidence confidence can always be worked on and the you know the, the wonderful thing about this world is that it's not all about beauty if you're worried about how you look i mean look look at me i got i'm balding man i'm balding so i would imagine that you know it makes me less beautiful but in reality beauty is not always how you look so thank you hate them habibi and uh, i'll see you next time peace love and unity and see you the later okay so that's one video <laughs> thank you man <laughs> So you're like a psychologist of uh, <laughs> kind of yeah. millions of people. If yeah, you're... yeah, I know. A lot of the people who sit online and watch TVs, they don't have anyone. You know, they they spend a lot of their time on the internet, so they feel alone. So that's why they connect with a lot of YouTubers. So I have to give back in a way, and uh, this is how I give back. You know, talking to them one by one. Yeah, she's, uh... <laughs> so being a YouTuber isn't only talking about your life, but also listening to millions of fans, providing a shoulder to lean on in tough times. Okay, fans all over the world, after you heard my stories, it's time for me to help you. The first question is from uh, Mabuto, from Central Africa. Uh, hi, Itamar, I love your videos, thank you. Uh, I have a problem, uh, in my village we have uh, no water. Uh, some of the family members died. Uh, I'm very, very thirsty, uh, what to do? Mabuto, I have only one thing to say to you. Water is just another material. Don't be so materialistic, you know. I need water, I need food. Be more spiritual. You need to ask yourself, who is the real Mabuto? To think about your self-confidence, to believe it yourself, to be authentic. Even if you need to die, die as yourself. Die as Mabuto. Keep it real. Be part of my gang. Stay in touch. Love you, Mabuto. See you later. Da 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 da. So after saving Mabuto from dying, it's time to meet my fans face to face. So I go where fans and YouTubers meet off screen. in Amsterdam. Check it out. We are in Amsterdam. Bree and Chrissy. I realized that everybody is walking around with expensive cameras, shooting vlogs, and I can't figure out who are the YouTubers and who are the fans. My name is Angel Baranis and I'm 16 years old. Wow, you can really dance. I have 40,000 subscribers on YouTube. אני עד בן ציון ויש לי 220,000. כאילו נגיד אם אני בבוקר אין לי חשק לשים את הבימי קרים, אני פשוט לוקחת את הקונסילה והוא מסתיר לי כל מיני דברים שאני רוצה להסתיר בצורה פשוט מעולה. המוצר הבא הוא פוסם כזה של אלין, מעגל ריסים של בדיוק. שלום לכל העולם! אתם מבזבזות יותר מ-500 שקל על חמשות בדיוק? of uh, companies. I have Adidas. They give me clothes and money and for that I, I post on my blog with their clothes. I sell in two weeks 10,000 t-shirts. I was like, whoa, you serious? That's my power. When I see a teenager selling tens of thousands of shirts, I understand it's an industry. So I'm off to a convention, open to the YouTube industry only, where they make things happen. Uh, I have about an audience of two million, and I've managed to parlay my audience into millions of dollars. When I first started videos, I kind of was doing videos that were going to get me views. But I wasn't getting brand deals, wasn't making money. But I got to the point that I don't use like, anything like that. Everything's like, light-hearted, I try not to swear in my videos. So it's kind of building that foundation and then kind of like changing it again to fit brands. So I'm on a level now where brands will work for me. If you don't know how a website makes money, 
It's because you are the product. They're selling you to advertisers, right? My selfie cam! The new YouTubers understand that the audience is the product they sell to the advertisers. R35. Excuse me? Yeah. Hi. Uh, you're from Nestle, yeah? Yes. I heard you talking for... Uh, I'm Itamar Rose. I'm a YouTuber. It, it, Itamar? Itamar Rose. Eat my Rose. Yeah. Itamar Rose. Okay. Oh, yeah. that's you. Yeah, it's me. Nice. Sure. All this right. I feel that I can uh, be a very good um, YouTuber for your brand. All right, well, tell me, how would you sell one of our products? Okay, okay. in 9-11, okay. when I saw the building collapsing, yeah. the plane oh my God. I knew some guy that I died there. Oh, Uncle Jimmy! <laughs> I must relax. <laughs> Yeah, I can't go back to my management and say I've got to find a great blogger who's talking about death and then resurrection through Nescafe. I need to, I need branding that is... But you need from happy to happy? Well, maybe it's funny to... But it just can't be death to, ha to, to brand. Have a break, have a Kit Kat. Can you work with that? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uncle Jimmy. <laughs> I have to take a break. So we are just products, and the algorithm is in charge of matching us to the client, to the advertisers. Algorithms like no one knows what it is yeah. besides the actual like it's, you got, it's like a puzzle, and when you get close to working out, it changes. Yeah, we'll reach a point where an algorithm, a code, an AI analyzes every single frame of your video and the audio track. Of course, we will. In the middle of the mingling algorithm orgy of YouTubers and advertisers, I'm glad to see there are still some alternative creators making different bizarre art. So this is ASMR, and it stands for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. So if I will do it using it, it can help me succeed in YouTube. An ASMR video is usually watched from start to finish because the person will want to fall asleep too. And right now the YouTube algorithm works based on how long a video is being watched. So if you have 100% of watch time on your videos, it will immediately push you to the top of the algorithm. What a disappointment. She whispers, not to us, but to the so algorithm. I to, to help you fall asleep. We, we actually used to be a, a hub for all the weirdo children that just wanted uh, that just wanted to seek comfort and dive into their art that nobody else out there accepted. And now it just feels like every every third kid is in it just for the money and just for the business. Yeah. That's not that's not the honest platform I used to know. And it hurts. You are eight years away. I like to say that there have been four generations of YouTube, and we are in the, the generation that is now grew up with YouTube as a part of their childhood. New tubers, I'm calling them. They saw the success of PewDiePie making his millions. Mm, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. They saw how these platforms can be star makers, and now they're seeing it as their opportunity to launch their own personal brand or their business. Nassim the Radical Vegan already knew which side of YouTube's bread was buttered. People like me are not good for big businesses. The generation that was born to sell, than YouTubers. I want that a big company will come to you and come to you. Amen. I want to be a company of Tevala Sao, of Jela Sao. I don't want to be a company of Tevala Sao, but I want to be a company of Tevala Sao. It's like a company of Ashkara to take me from me. That Ashkara will take me. Wow, he's a YouTuber, we want to work with him. It's fun to work with him. It's always nice to see highly motivated kids. I'm working with gaming and vlogging. I'm also working with him. I'm also working with him. מה אתה אמרת שאתה פורץ לבתים? מה זה אומר? פורץ לבתים. מטפס על הגדרות של הבתים. חבר שלי נכנס לתוך הבית, אני מצלם מבחוץ. אם היית הורג מישהו, אתה חושב שזה היה מביא יותר צפיות? לא. זה היה מביא לי הרבה צפיות, וזה גם היה מביא לי מלא אנלייקים ואנטאב. הייתי באפוסאבים. 
Even the conventions organizers weren't comfortable about the Nets effect on kids, so they brought an expert. And so I have the pleasure of running the largest center in the world of its kind, focusing on the relationship between young people and the media. We want to focus a lot on the positive effects of media. So let's keep that in mind as where we want to go in the next 40 to 45 Focus minutes. only on the positive. I would like a great start for a balanced academic discussion. Definitely see so many incredible opportunities of media for young kids. So I've seen effects on, positive effects on literacy, language, math, science, engineering. So we can all relax. Our children can surf as long as they want. It will make them successful. It's scientifically proven. It's okay, like the situation. Yeah, it's, so, not, it's not nearly as um, problematic as our popular rhetoric or our media, as our general lay conversation might suggest. A little too convenient. I felt as if I'm talking with YouTube CEO. So I asked her about it. How much time you are the manager of the place? Um, about four years, I guess, of, of the director of the particular center. I've been and there for six. in these four years, you had some partnership or some funding? I've done some collaborative work, and in those with cases... With which uh, companies? Um, I would not talk about them on air, but because I don't want to cause any problems for any of my companies. I will never find out the real story, because just after our talk, the festival director kicked yeah, me out claiming that I was asking unprofessional questions. The moment I asked a critical question, I was kicked out. Apparently on YouTube, it was happening on a much larger scale. YouTube advertiser boycott started about five days ago after some ads from big corporations showed up in front of inappropriate content. But the reaction has been countless advertisers threatening to or actually pulling out their money from YouTube. Hundreds of the largest companies from Coca-Cola to Mercedes have threatened to boycott YouTube in response to the fact that YouTube has put their commercials next to violent and racist content like ISIS videos. So YouTube decided to play it safe. They stopped showing ads, not only in ISIS videos, but in many videos, millions, that were out of consensus, not pleasant, that the algorithm profiled as not brand friendly. As you know, the past year we have been hit with YouTube's mass demonetization of LGBT channels. So we got engaged. We were obviously super excited about it. We uploaded the video and within two minutes the video was demonetized. We couldn't figure out why the video was pretty PG except that it said future wives in the title or maybe because it was two women. YouTube, what the fuck? Then we went through other videos and I found out there was like a hundred of our videos that were demonetized for really ridiculous reasons. One of our videos, our proud to love video that YouTube actually reached out to us about four years ago in an make the video in an email and said we would love for you to make this video showing what it's like to love another woman and now YouTube has demonetized it for we don't know what the reason is what they do is they literally look at the title they look at the thumbnail and they say is this even remotely whatsoever uh, something that could potentially be problematic as a comedy satire channel why am I getting killed why we removed our Wall Street Journal video, political, no money, is YouTube over, about the Wall Street Journal, political, no money, Muslim edition, about religion, controversial, very controversial, not ad friendly, demonetize, smile more and be happy, just don't express your opinions, guys. YouTube became the big brother who oversees and overhears everything. Don't talk about being G-A-Y, don't talk about being R-E-L-I-G-I-O-U-S. Don't talk about P-O-L-I-T. Politics. Never talk about your own beliefs. Otherwise, you will be discriminated and censored. YouTube is a political actor. It has interest and it exercises power. There is no information that is neutral. There is no technology that is neutral. I lost revenue on half of my videos. So that's like 4,000 4, videos divided by two. So 2,000 videos I lost ads on, which means I just got like half fired. We are at a loss at this point and we just don't know what to do. They fired a lot of people. They went from having a, a job to having a hobby. I have been putting 
all of my money into this channel and my survival basically for the last five years and I am probably going to lose my home because of it. So I am just beyond sad and, and frustrated that I could not continue to support myself that way. It's really so, painful to see people lose their jobs, their home, their life's work. But I can understand YouTube's decision to please their advertisers. After all, it's business. But the more I research, the less it makes sense. YouTube not only prevented ads like the brands ask for, but hid and even deleted millions of videos and channels. So I wanted to talk to you about a video that YouTube took down. It was upsetting when the video got deleted, and I'm pretty sure they deleted it for a reason that was probably a misunderstanding. They age-restricted my ab workout video. Why they did that? Because this is what they are doing to vegan activists. Does YouTube hate LGBT content creators? I mean, that's a really intense statement. But so if it wasn't for the advertisers, why did YouTube delete millions of videos, including videos documenting war crimes? In an effort to protect viewers from violent videos, YouTube has been deleting clips and channels showing atrocities in Syria. In some cases, those videos may have been the only evidence out there of war crimes. Activists worry without this video proof, crimes may go unpunished. So maybe they made their big move to clean up YouTube from everything that distracts us from our only destiny, consuming. You are worried about economic incentives. That's worrying. I'm worried about political incentives, where particular partisan incentives are being played and we don't know that. Or is it political? Did they wipe out millions of videos from conflict zones to show the leaders of huge markets like China and Russia that they don't need to worry about Russian Spring or Chinese Spring happening in YouTube ever again? The revolution will not be YouTubeized. I literally cannot put into words how angry I am. This is bullshit. What is certain is that they made this huge move without providing explanations to the public. To the millions of YouTubers who woke up to discover that their life's work was ruined. I asked YouTube a direct question. I said, what do I need to do to get my channel off of your blacklist? And they sent me an automated response. And as some of you know, I've gotten billions of views on YouTube, okay? That equates to millions of dollars for YouTube. I have paid lifetime salaries, no doubt, of certain YouTube workers, and they can't even give me a response that is human. Today, terror inside YouTube headquarters. We have a report of subject with a gun. They heard seven to eight shots being fired. We have four victims who have all been transported for gunshot-related injuries. Senior law enforcement officials tell NBC News the suspect is a woman in her mid-30s. And multiple law enforcement sources tell NBC News she died at the scene. The identity of the shooter, Nassim Agdam. She shot a man and two women before taking her own life. Growing on YouTube is not in your hands. It all depends on who is controlling your channel. A few hours after the shooting, Nassim's videos were deleted from the web. She was wiped off collective consciousness as if she never existed. Yeah, a lot of people uh, offer the argument that, you know, it's a, it's a private company and, you know, we shouldn't have a, a big say in anything that goes on. Yet at the same time, we're talking about a monopoly. People have to step in and make sure that this company isn't deciding the fate of the entire economy or our society. And right now, YouTube is deciding the fate of our society in many, many ways. It's a centerpiece of our society and should be treated as such and essentially owned and operated by the the overall community and not just by a few people who are working in the best interest of a dollar. Really good. Look at these moments. All of these stories, secrets, revelations from every corner of the world.
I would have liked to tell you that after everything that happened, I took my fate into my own hands, left YouTube, and took my art back to the streets. But in real life, us YouTubers that invested many years and most of our money can't really leave YouTube. Our channel belongs to them. Our subscribers are theirs to keep. We cannot take anything. YouTube is their tube. We are not citizens. We are just subjects without property, without basic rights. Yeah. So until it changes and we'll make YouTube great again, I'm here on the street with my gang. Yeah. So my last advice is, keep it real. Unless it's depressing, be authentic. If you're not gay or something strange, and raise your voice, unless you're Syrian. And don't be heavy, take it easy. Buy yourself some nice stuff, and everything will be okay. And if you think that I'm whining about YouTube just because I couldn't become viral, so I have a video of my son who can easily break the internet. But you know, the internet in the Middle East with all the wars is very weak. And anyway, my computer is broken now. But believe me, it can easily get 100 million views.